Alright, welcome to the first video of Hadlock Trapping. And as you can see, we're out of set. We got a tire here, and there's the dog proof. We got some marshmallows in there, but me and my brother don't trap on the weekends. Unless somehow I can get to my traps, but that's not too often. We're just going to set this off, and whenever I come back following Monday, we're going to rebate it and stuff, but this is the kind of trap that you want when you're doing trapping. You want, you just want these traps. These traps are awesome. You're going to want them, you're going to love them, you just have to go. They're cheap, they're affordable. These are the new Z traps. They're really cool. So, uh, that's about it for this set. We're going to set this off and wait till Monday and everything. And we're just going to go on to the next set. Alright, now here we're back, we're set number two, this is a, the same kind of trap, dog proof and everything, and this was Duke. Now I'm a big fan of Duke traps, some people out there they might not like them and everything, and I really like them, so, you know, we all got our different opinions and everything, there's nothing in this one, some marshmallows, I love using marshmallows for good, about the best thing you can do, some just a little bait up here, and, Keeps everything, keeps the wind flowing and everything. So we're gonna set this off and we're gonna move on to our next trap. Alright, now welcome. This is trap number three. And also see we don't have anything in this. And we're pretty sure we got one over there. We can't see the trap normally, we can see it and stuff, but here I did something a little different. I have marshmallows in the trap, there's a coon chair right here. Now I have some bait. There it is. I have some bait right here. A little lamb. Just get the smell out. I mean, right here. On this, I have some honey. Honey's gone. That's just to get them to come in and stuff, but there's nothing in here. Three traps now. There are animals. I'm going to set this off. We're going to have a soft seat over here. check our muskrat traps I'll show you where we have one the day before but, oh I seen coon tracks in this mud a couple days far a couple days ago and so I took a couple traps here I'm gonna set this bad boy off we'll head on to a little fox trap we got set Alright, this is our bobcat set, bobcat, fox, guy, whatever. We got two traps here, as you can see, one of them sprung off. I don't like sprung off traps, I like having animals in my dang traps. Anyways, there's a trap here. Okay, and before I start doing this, and everyone tells me, oh, you got to wear gloves, scent control. I don't care. These animals... I don't know. In my opinion, it's all about who outsmarts who when it comes to trapping. And if the animals might outsmart me one day, I'll outsmart them someday. Boy, cameraman, walk over there, Matt. He's going to show you a different angle of if he can get low enough where he can get inside them holes. That'll be nice. Can you uh, go down, like squat down or something? Show them what's back here. Well, that's pretty much back in these holes. I got some sheep's wool. Um, yeah, I got sheep's wool in this one. I don't have anything in that one. But I put the bait on my sheep's wool and push it back in there. Now, probably about Monday, we'll have you another video pretty soon. And I'll show you how I set these. I'm going to leave these traps here. That's how I do it. 
I pretty much just leave my traps out here. I know people are going to say, oh, they get rusty. I don't care again. Uh, these traps are only Duke one and a half. We bought them for Coon. For, we bought them for my brother for Christmas. And uh, we were going to use them for pocket sets in the creek and stuff. I'm not huge on trapping creeks unless I'm trapping muskrat. I'm not trapping muskrat. I normally stay off the creeks. Unless, like, sometimes I go to my cousins or something. Then we trap a bunch of creeks because that's all they got, really. But, uh, here's my other one. It's not set off or anything, but there you go. That's how it set it off. And, uh, see the dirt. I covered all my traps with dirt. And before the season, see how this does it. Breaks real easy. That's what you want. What I do is I get dry dirt, put it in a bucket, dig a little pocket out with some sand in, mix that all together. That's how I do the sand. See, the sand keeps it nice and loose, everything. And, well, this is the only box coyote predator trap. We'll put it that way. This is the only predator trap we got out besides the coon trap. But, uh, I don't know. I just found this thing and I got a trail going up through here, so I figured, you know what, I'll dig a couple holes out. Yeah, you want a low backing. And uh, T-Mac, I just want to tell you right now, dude, you're my trapping role model. If you're watching this, you're just awesome. All right, WT40, you guys, I watched every one of your trapping videos. I'm the one that sent that message on YouTube. Asking if you'd mention us in your next video, and uh, if you guys haven't subscribed Wild for the Outdoors, you better go subscribe them. They are the best trappers. A chance he uh, hunts a bunch of geese, duck. Uh, they trap a lot. No, they, they trap. T Mac, he's the trapper of it all. I'm pretty sure. And T Mac, he's the kind of guy. He's like a Indian in modern times. That's what I'd call him. He's an Indian in modern times, pretty much. He just, he's awesome. And, uh, so we're going to head on to our next trap. I'll get done talking. We'll go on down there. Third one. All right, here's the trap. Earlier in the season, we caught a coon down there, up there by them trees, my cameraman showing you. We caught a coon up there. We got a couple traps up there, but let's come back this way. Well, uh, here we got the uh, Duke dog proof. We only got three of these, because, you know, I'm, I'm a rookie. As you can tell, we haven't caught anything in this video. We got us a cold front coming in. And these coons, they really don't like to move when there's a cold front, I don't think. But uh, coyotes, they really like to move when there's a cold front. Scavenger for food. People tell me coons, they move in the cold. I don't believe it. I like coon trapping when it's about mid 50s, high 40s. That's about good. But there's nothing really much about this. I mean, they go all through here. There's not really a chosen trail. There's trails everywhere. Coons are going to use the easiest route. I know that much about trapping. So I just put this here. Attach this little thorn tree. I have fun. Poking myself. Anyways, we're going to set this off and move on. Mm -hmm. Alright, right, here's another coon trap. See, we got us a rabbit trail here, but. Coons are going to use it. Like I said in the last set, coons are going to use the easiest path possible. I know I'm sitting my knees on this trap and everything. They're going to use it. You can smush this down and stuff. They're going to use it. Now see, I'm going to pull this up, man. Inside there. See that? Barely any marshmallows left. You know why? Probably birds that combine to eat them. You don't want that. But, uh, starting to snow a little bit. I don't like that. I like nice warm weather and stuff. And 
I like people out there that can agree with me. Like out warm weather and stuff, but we got two traps down there. It doesn't look like they have anything in them, so we're not gonna show you them. We're just gonna head on down to our muskrat sets down the road to the creek and hope we get something. Sometimes and yesterday we had a coon, the day before well, we had a coon, now it's cold fronts coming in. And only hope we get something. I mean, traffic's all about outsmarting animals, but going out here and having some fun, like T Mac always says, you know, you just gotta keep trying. Sometimes sets sit for days, you just gotta keep going. And uh, that's just about it. Had a lot of trapping, episode one. Next video, we're probably going to come back Monday and what? So, Lori set all these traps. See ya. <laughs>